Hi, my name is Alicia Jackson. I am the owner of Pride Academy here in Indianapolis, Indiana, and stretching forth to our South region. And you are watching Leak TV. I decided uh, to become an 365 entrepreneur over two decades ago because I wanted to make a change in the community of Indianapolis, Indiana. Not only did I want to become an agent of change, but I wanted to make a difference from a grassroots level and to provide exponential opportunities to children of color that they would not normally receive on a regular basis. Pride Academy provides so many opportunities for the families as well as children uh, from six weeks old all the way up to the fifth grade and then also we provide services for teens. Uh, we have before and after school programming, summer camp, uh, we provide, uh, we are a level four which is the highest level of child care. Pride Academy is NACI accredited, meaning that we're accredited through the National Association for the Education of Young Children. And we were just recently blessed with uh, starting our franchise uh, down south. So you can look to see Pride Academy opening in Georgia, Alabama, and uh, hopefully soon South Carolina. I was blessed uh, with having the uh, spirit of not fitting in into corporate America. Um, Lily goes out into the community every October the 8th, uh, blessing the community, and I always felt like they never went to bless my community, which was the east side of Indianapolis. So I thought it would be best for me to go and be a blessing. Uh, in the Brightwood community, started in a 2,000 square foot building uh, over 20 years ago. And we served, uh, thank God for uh, Stephanie Patterson, who gave me land in Brightwood. And I thank God for Twyla Bartlett, who went out and purchased items for the first child care of Pride Academy 20 years ago. Um, I never forget uh, the humble beginnings because that kept me true to my mission, which is making a difference in the lives of others. Uh, we have the largest giveaways in the city. Uh, we do the citywide Easter egg hunt. We give away bicycles, coats, uh, toys. We provide so many opportunities for community service. It uh, starts with each week we partner with Trader Joe's, and we have a food pantry every Saturday. I am encouraging everybody who hears this to come out to our food pantry every Saturday. We partner with Trader Joe's, and it's a blessing for you. Every second Wednesday, we pass out diapers. We have a partnership uh, with diapers. You don't have to buy diapers. You don't have to buy food. My objective is that you can save money by coming out being blessed by our giveaways. Each year we give away coats and toys. Just recently signed a partnership with Converse and in our back to school giveaway, every last Friday in July, we'll be giving away backpacks, school supplies, tennis shoes, you name it. Every second Saturday in December, we give away toys, haircuts, uh, the braiders come out to braid hair. We give coats, you name it, we give it away. I give away things to our community so that my community can be blessed. As I am blessing you, I want you to take your finances and save, save, save. The object in life is that we not uh, spend you know, everything that we receive, but that we save it so that we could save for the future, which gives us more of an opportunity to be a blessing to the community. I run financial empowerment 
And what I do is I help others to become business owners as well as homeowners, uh, government contracting. We have speakers, that principals that come out and teach how to open charter schools. Um, mortgage company, thank God for Janice and Diana, real estate mortgage company, and our very own CFO, uh, Mr. Eugene West, who helps people to become financially faithful from a biblical perspective. My goal is that we can teach you how to fish. If we teach you how to fish in life, then you could carry on and teach the next generation. We have uh, bi-monthly, we have financial empowerments at Pride Academy. Now you can find all that information on our website at Pride Academy 317, because our goal is that you can be blessed so that you can carry on in life and not have to suffer. But one thing about it is suffering. When you suffer for Christ, you suffer for a gain. You suffer uh, suffering. Uh, many people don't like to suffer. But suffering is not a bad thing because it, it produces fortitude. It produces longevity in your life. So uh, what I encourage is, is that you have a business, I just encourage you to push forward with that business. Get the business plan. Now, there are several uh, agencies out here that can help you. Uh, you must put your business plan in place and then get it up off the paper. Work on it each and every day if you're interested in starting a business, but not only starting a business, take your business to the next level and always give back to the community. Don't get into this field to make money. Get into this field to be a blessing to others. Now, don't fall in love with something because you'll fall in and out of love. But have a passion for what you do. If you have a passion for what you do, it will carry you from here to eternity. Um, my suggestion to anyone who gets into this field is do things right. Uh, be upright. Run your business as the Bible states. Many uh, say that education can train you or longevity, you know, long time in business can train you. But I just encourage you that uh, to have a, a well-balanced life, personal and professional, and always know that you will have to sacrifice. You're going to have to work 150%, 200%. But it, it won't kill you. It will do, won't do anything but provide contentment to your life. Uh, so my uh, suggestions to everyone is give back to your business. The, uh, the first uh, five years of your business, give it back. Keep pouring into your business so that you grow. Uh, don't go out and spend lavishly, but keep pouring into your business. And, but the last thing I will say is be a blessing to others. As God blesses you, make sure that you bless others. Each day, I reach out to five people that I can bless in one way or another. Um, at the end of each day, make sure that you journal. Make sure that you have goals, short-term, medium-term, and long-term goals that you set for yourself and accomplish those goals. Once you accomplish those goals, reward yourself, but keep plugging. Do it over and over and over again. Steady plotting brings prosperity, and hasty speculation brings poverty. I'm glad you asked that. Um, what I provide for the children at Pride Academy and for the children in our community because it's not only provided to um, the children at Pride. Right now, we're at Washington Park, and I'm providing opportunities to children in the Brightwood area. I don't, I don't care who it is. I want to provide opportunities. Uh, the reason I opened uh, Pride Conservatory is because I wanted to move the left side of the brain. The left side of the brain proves that if a child learns to play an instrument, we play violin, piano, music, and media technology. If you move the left side of the brain, that helps to increase math scores down the road. Also, it helps in the science area. Um, I provide uh, STEM scouts through Boy Scouts, 
and that helps my children to become four months out of the year information technology. Four months out of the year, they get to be biologists. For the other four months, they get to be chemists. And then the other four months, they get to work on robotics. Also, we thank God for our computer love, Mr. Will Garth, who comes in and teaches our children so much about uh, videography, video cinema, cinemography. Um, they know how to rebuild a hard drive. They know how to fix cell phones. Um, not only that, gardening. I believe that if a child learns to garden, they can feed themselves. They don't have to go to the store. They can produce their own gardens, uh, make their own dirt by composting, and then sell it in farmer's markets. So again, it helps to increase the mass scores, but it also teaches them about mind, body, and soul, letting them know that they can accomplish anything. They, and we uh, take them into nature. We take 100 to 125 kids every year to swimming lessons. I want to dispel the myth in the black community that children can't swim. Each year, our children learn how to swim. They're jumping off the diving board, and we have great success in that avenue. Uh, also, um, anything, we have a 100 book reading challenge. Anything that our children can do to become better than anybody else in the world, that's what we provide them. It's not a mandate that we provide all of these opportunities. It's something that I wanted to do. Uh, my mother uh, had several children and she would walk us to the library. She made all of our food. Um, we thank God for Mr. Julian Chambers who is our new COO of Pride Academy, and he believes in living a holistic life. So in turn, our scholars live a holistic life. The Lord blessed me to help uh, my nephew, Marvin, to open his trucking company. And he is our leader, and we thank God for the leader of our trucking company. But one thing I miss in these past two decades is I have always been a blessing to the mothers and I've always been a blessing to the children and the teens. But it dawned on me that I really needed to be a blessing to the fathers who are the nucleus and the head of our lives. So we opened a trucking company and the Lord is blessing us. We're on our second year and we have over the road truck drivers and uh, it's men young men who have families. It brings me such joy to serve with them. Uh, we stepped out in the deep and purchased semis and 53 foot trucks, trailers, and uh, we're learning the lingo and just pushing forward. That is a business that uh, was foreign to me, but I was not, you, you can't have fear. You can't have fear. You have to step out into the deep and go for what God has in store for you. So we're on our second year. The first year was a little rough. <laughs> it was a little rough, but it, hey, if it's easy, there's something wrong with it. So we're looking forward to uh, meeting our five, fifth year, our 10th year, our 15th year. Uh, but I have the greatest joy to see young men driving these rigs, listening to that good old rap music. <laughs> with their semis polished, their wheels polished, making that money, going from one end of the world to the next. I thank God because when Hurricane Etna came, our men carried uh, first aid supplies to Florida. Uh, when the fires were out west, our men carried uh, blankets and recovery items to those families who were involved in those fires. So it's, we're not only a trucking company, but we're making, we're making moves and uh, helping to be a blessing, even yet in the trucking industry. How to have a balance. I'm the type of person that if I step into anything, then I see it to completion, and I don't let it go until it's successful. I wish that I would have learned work-family balance when I started in this business. Uh, 
that's something that's a, something that I want to encourage anyone who's in business for themselves is take time out for yourself and I'm, I'm really learning that now to really take time out for myself and add myself into the equation because I have not added myself into the equation so right now at this time of my life uh, the Lord has allowed me to uh, really become an angel investor where I'm investing into different companies uh, but I'm learning to sit back. I thank God now Pride Academy has a new COO and a new CEO. So I'm hoping that that will help me to focus more on me. <laughs> Yes, uh, I just wanted to thank uh, Ladina with Leak Magazine for uh, reaching out to our community and being a blessing and a pillar in our community. Ladina has done an outstanding job of just sharing and loving our community. And I'm just asking God to bless her immensely and to encourage her heart as uh, Leak Magazine's owner and CEO. And I want God to just expand her territory because there's great things in store for you, Ladina. And thank you for Entrepreneur 365. Uh, we have a website, Pride Academy 317 all day long and uh, we're on Facebook and Instagram Pride Academy 317